Hello boys and girls and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English Grade 5, Book 5A, Episode 1 Unit 3, Weather and Climate I am Sakina Kenkuni and I will present vocabulary and reading comprehension Let's start with our new vocabulary for today Our first word for today is dust storm Dust storm Dust storm Repeat after me Dust storm Dust storm. One last time. Dust storm. Great jobs, boys and girls. Dust storm is a noun. Look at the picture. There is a dust storm. There is a dust storm. Last night there was a strong dust storm. Last night there was a strong dust storm. Can you use the word dust storm in a sentence? Great job, boys and girls. Next we have the word truck. Truck truck say it with me truck 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 is a noun look at the picture it's a truck it's a type and a kind of a car truck is a big car let's use the word truck in a sentence my father has a big truck my father has a big truck all right Next we have the word clear, 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 clear is a verb which means to remove something from somewhere, clear, repeat after me, clear, 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 excellent job boys and girls. Let's use clear in a sentence, in summer big trucks clear the roads from dust, in summer big trucks Clear the roads from dust. All right, boys and girls. We have the word sandy. 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 Say it with me. Sandy. 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 Excellent job, boys and girls. Sandy is an adjective, which means to cover with sand, which means something is covered with sand. I use sandy to describe something covered with sand. Look at the picture. It's sandy. We can't plant trees in sandy soil. We can't plant trees in sandy soil. Can you use sandy in a sentence? I'm sure you can. Well done, boys and girls. Next, we have the word heavily. Heavily. Heavily, repeat after me, heavily, heavily, heavily is an adverb, which means in large amount, heavily, repeat after me, heavily, let's use the word heavily in a sentence, it rains heavily in winter, it rains heavily in winter, next we have the word hero, 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 repeat after me, hero, 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 great job boys and girls, hero is a noun, which means a person who is admired for his courage, look at the picture, we have many heroes, let's use the word hero in a sentence, doctors are real heroes, doctors are real heroes. Our next word for today is suddenly. 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 Suddenly is an adverb which means quickly and unexpectedly. Quickly and unexpectedly. Can you say the word with me? Suddenly. 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 Excellent job boys and girls. Let's use the word suddenly in a sentence. There was a big storm suddenly. There was a big storm suddenly. Next we have emergency service. Emergency service. Emergency service. Repeat after me please. Emergency service. Emergency service. One more time. Emergency service. It's a noun. In Kuwait, the emergency service number is 112. 
Let's use emergency service in a sentence. You should call 112 for emergency services. You should call 112 for emergency services. Next, we have the word fainted. 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 Fainted is a verb. Look at the picture. The boy suddenly fainted. The boy suddenly fainted. Let's use it in another example. The child fainted suddenly, so she called 112 for help. The child fainted suddenly, so she called 112 for help. We have the word breathe. 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 Breathe is a verb. Repeat after me, please. Breathe. 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 Look at the picture. The man is breathing in the picture. Breathe. All right, let's use breathe in a sentence. My father couldn't breathe easily because of the dusty weather. My father couldn't breathe easily because of the dusty weather. Next, we have the word paramedic. 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 Paramedic is a noun, which means a person who is trained to give emergency medical care outside the hospital. Look at the picture. We can see paramedics helping sick people. Let's use the word paramedics in a sentence. The paramedics took the man to the hospital yesterday. The paramedics took the man to hospital yesterday. Can you use the word in a sentence? Paramedic? I'm sure you can. All right, boys and girls. We've done with the vocabulary. Now it's time to practice. Let's practice together. I want you to read the sentences and choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Listen and follow carefully and choose the correct answer. Let's read together. Number one. Last night, it rained. A. Sandy. B. Eagerly. C. Heavily. D. Warmly. Last night, it rained. Sandy. Eagerly. Heavily. Or warmly. What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. The answer is C. Heavily. Last night, it rained heavily. Again, boys and girls, last night it rained heavily. All right, let's move on to number two. We can't space underwater, but fish can. We can't space underwater, but fish can. Is it A, clear? B, breathe? C, obey? D, respect? Again, A, clear? B, breathe? C, obey? D, respect? What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. The answer is B, breathe. We can't breathe underwater, but fish can. Great job, boys and girls. That's all with the vocabulary and the practice. Let's move on to the reading comprehension. Before starting reading, let's go through tips for reading. Number one, read the text more than once. Number two, read the questions. Number three, read the first sentence of each paragraph. And number four, write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. Again, tips for reading. Number one, read the text more than once. Read the questions. Number three, read the first sentence of each paragraph. And number four, write your answers in full sentences and clear handwriting. Now let's read the story. All right, boys and girls. We are done with the vocabulary and practice and the reading tips. Let's move on and read the story. You might have dreamed about being a hero, but someday you may be one. The heroes of our world aren't imaginary characters who use special power to save the world. Real heroes are the people who do good things to help others and to make the world a better place. Saleh and his sister Hissa were playing in the backyard together 
with their mother. Suddenly, the wind began to blow and the dust flew. Hurry up, children! We should go inside because there might be a dust storm, said mom. The children ran home quickly, but their mother couldn't run so fast. As she came in the door, mom fainted. She couldn't breathe because lots of dust got into her nose and mouth. Saleh and Hissa tried hard to help her, but they couldn't. Thinking quickly, Saleh phoned 112 for emergency service and asked for help. Soon, two paramedics arrived in an ambulance. They helped mom and she began to breathe well again. She thanked the paramedics but they told her that Saleh was the real hero. He acted quickly and saved her life. Let's answer the questions. A. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Number one. The main idea of this story is A. Playing at the backyard B. Emergency services C. Being a hero or D. Helping a fainting mom Again the main idea of this story is A. Playing at the backyard B. Emergency services C. Being a hero or D. Helping a fainting mom What do you think boys and girls? That's right! The answer is D. Helping a fainting mom Number 2 The opposite of the underlined word fast in line number 5 is A. New B. Amazed C. Sad or D. Slow Again, the opposite of the underlined word fast in line number 5 is A. New B. Amazed C. Sad or D. Slow What do you think boys and girls? Go back to the paragraph to find the answer Let's go back to the paragraph The children ran home quickly but their mother couldn't run so fast We need the opposite of fast Excellent boys and girls, of course the answer is D, slow. The opposite of the word fast in line number 5 is D, slow. Alright boys and girls, let's move on to question number 3. The underlined word they in line number 3 refers to A, paramedics, B, Saleh and mom, C, Saleh and Hissa, D, mom and Hissa. Again, the underlined word they in line number three refers to A. Paramedics B. Saleh and Mom C. Saleh and Hissa or D. Mom and Hissa What do you think boys and girls? Go back to the paragraph to find the answer Let's go back to the paragraph Soon two paramedics arrived in an ambulance They helped Mom and began to breathe well again she thanked the paramedics, but they told her that Saleh was the real hero. He acted quickly and saved her life. So they refers to, that's right, it's a paramedics. They refers to paramedics. All right, boys and girls, I want you now to answer the following questions. Number one, why did mom faint? Why did mom faint? Go back to the paragraph to find the answer. As she came in the door, mom fainted. She couldn't breathe because lots of dust got into her nose and mouth. So did you find the answer? Yes, that's right. Mom fainted because a lot of dust got into her nose and mouth so she couldn't breathe. Great job, boys and girls. Number two, what did Saleh do to help his mom? What did Saleh do to help his mom? Let's go back to the paragraph and find the answer. Saleh and Hissa tried hard to help her, but they couldn't. Thinking quickly, Saleh phoned 112 for the emergency service and asked for help. So, what did Saleh do to help his mom? Great job, boys and girls. Saleh phoned. 112 for the emergency service and ask for help. So the answer is Saleh phoned 112 for the emergency service and ask for help. All right, boys and girls, we are done with the reading. You have a homework on People's Book page 43. 
read the story and complete the story map below. Let's look at the story map. In the story map, we have the characters, that means who, we have the place, that means where, we have the title and problem with solution. So, you have to write the characters. We will write together Saleh, Hissa, Mom and Paramedics. Place, family's house. The title for this story is Emergency Service. The problem was what went wrong, what went wrong. You have to go back to the story, read and write about the problem and how did it end or what was the solution. All right, boys and girls, we've reached to the end of this episode. In this episode, we've learned lots of fun and new things. In this episode, we learned how to use new vocabulary in meaningful sentences and how to answer reading comprehension questions correctly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode with us. I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.